Yes, Anjum Chowdhury works for Britain's security services, just like his oppo Tommy Robinson does. You've just watched a video that was uh, produced by Britain First. Jada Franson of Britain First, she confronts Chowdhury outside his home. She has a conversation with him. Chowdhury then scuttles off up the path and into, into his house and she's shouting after him, you're a coward, you can't face a woman. And then later, in the there's another video after that. The video says early this year, I'm not quite sure when that was. I think it's about 2016. So I don't know which was first, the knock on the door or uh, the one where they confronts him outside his house. I'm not quite sure, but either way, either way, they... Jada Franson and whoever knock on the door and Chowdhury answers the door late at night. Do you really believe someone like him would be opening up the door late at night to strangers? Do you really believe he wouldn't have CCTV? I find that hard to believe, but let's work on the basis. He hasn't. He opens his door late at night in the door to complete strangers. And he doesn't even seem shocked, does he, or surprised? He just shuts the door. Well, there's a reason for all this. You see, Jada Franson confronting Chowdhury outside his house in the daytime, whenever that was. That makes them look like big anti-Islamic crusaders. Gives them street cred, doesn't it? Right? It gives them street cred support and people like them. Then they trust them. Now, also, let, knocking later on at night... It also then reinforces Chowdhury's position in the Muslim jihadist community, doesn't it? That he's the one now that the uh, racists that are, are out to get and that are attacking him and confronting him uh, on his doorstep. So either way, they both bounce off it because both of them are working for Britain's security services. Britain first, Jada France and Paul Golding and Anjum Chowdhury. Hope not hate what role they have in this, I don't know, but they will have they'll have they'll have a role, trust me they will. Hope not hate is attacking Chowdhury on its blog, like it attacks Tommy Robinson and all the other spies and agents that work for the government because Hope Not Hate Nick Lowe's Jerry Gable's Circular Magazine, they're proxies, criminal proxies of the security services. They do the security services dirty work. So Anjum Chowdhury opening up his opening his door late at night to them is what sinks him. There is no way he would be opening up that door, right? And don't be fooled by the fact he's gone to jail, right? Again, a lot of agents that are working with the security services that I've exposed have gone to jail because they've been exposed. And the, the state can't have this. It has to protect them. So it sends them to jail and people then foolishly, naively believe, oh, they can't be working with the government, they wouldn't be going to jail. Well, they are. I'm afraid they are. And and, and Jim Chowdhury, to save himself, because he'd be in big trouble if the jihadis found out he's betraying them, which he is. They've, he's made a remark or said something about joining ISIS and they've put him in jail. And that may have saved him. I don't know. They, they may still believe he's a genuine you know, Islamist and jihadist like themselves, but he's not. He's working for the security services. Regardless, 
uh, when not the, the press attack him or whatever, he is working with the security service and his aim is to hoover up all the extremists and then report them to the security services. Obviously, some get through and carry out their dastardly deeds like the one that killed um, Lee Rigby. And Tommy Robinson's the same. He's there to hoover up all the anti-Islamic extremists, right? And obviously, no doubt, report to his bosses should any of them be hell-bent on violence or terrorism. Now, obviously, some do get through the net and, you know, they do uh, terrible things, terrorism and murder people. But Britain First and Anjim Chowdhury are both products of the security services. The two of them are phonies. Um, Chowdhury's a phony Islamist, a phony jihadist. He's there to snitch on the jihadis and pass the information to the security service. And so is Tommy Robbins, but also as well, they have another purpose. What the, the states, what the powers that be want, they want both extremists, the uh, Muslim extremists and the anti-Muslim extremists at one another's throats, right? So then they can bring out, I believe, draconian legislation saying, look, we've got to bring in these new laws now to curb all the extremism on both sides. So it doesn't just look like the Muslims are doing it, the whites are doing it. So Tommy Robinson, like I've said many times before, like Anjim Chowdhury are not the real deal. They work for the security services. And Anjim Chowdhury opening his door late at night, come on, to Britain first. Is, that's what sunk him, without a doubt. Right? Stevie Wonder would see through that. Okay, thank you.